friends, my name is Neetu Chaudhary, I am assistant professor at Biani Girls College. Today I am going to deliver my lecture on multiplexers. Multiplexer, it is a special combinational circuit, we also call it as MAX, okay, and it is also cal called as MPX. So, it is a combinational circuit, a combinational circuit is a combination of different gates. Here we have arrangement of different gates, they can be AND gate or gate and from the LHS we have input and RHS we have the output. Okay, multiplexer is defined as many to one. That means it can have many inputs but only single output. That is why it is called many to one. It is a device which has many input and single output and which input will go to the output is dependent on the selection or select line. Here we have select lines. Okay, so if you give any input it will depend on the select lines that which, out, which output will you will get. So, here I have an example of 2 cross 1 marks. So, 2 cross 1 marks in this we have 2 inputs and 1 output and number of selection line can be detected by using the formula 2 to the power m equal to n. Here n is the number of input lines, m is the number of select lines. So, if we have 2 inputs then you can see you will get 1 select line. So, by this way you can calculate 4 cross 1, 8 cross 1, 16 cross 1 marks. So, next I am going to discuss 4 cross 1 multiplexer. 4 cross 1 multiplexer. As the name itself suggests, it will have 4 inputs and 1 output. So, 4 cross 1 marks in this we have 4 inputs that is I0, I1, I2 and I3 and 1 output Y. So, according to the formula you can calculate number of select lines. Okay. 2 to the power m is equal to n, n is number of input lines, m is number of out, uh, sorry select lines. So, if we have 4 inputs I0, I1, I2 and I3, so number of select lines will be 2 to the power 2 will give 4, so select lines will be 2. So, here I am using S1 and S0. So, truth table for this is S1, S0, Y, okay. S1 and S0 we will take it as inputs uh, in the truth table and y is the output. So, as I told earlier uh, that input and output will be dependent on the selection lines. So, if you have 0 0 then you will get I naught, 0 1 I 1, 1 0 I 2 and 1 1 you will get I 3. So, you will write it SOP form. So, as we know in SOP form 1 is considered as A and 0 as considered as A bar. Okay, so, SOP form for this is using the truth table S1 and S0 both are 0. So, it will be S1 bar S0 bar I0 plus as I am using the soft form. So, it is the sum of products. So, it is a product. Now, sum next is 0 1. So, it will be S1 bar S0 I1 plus similarly we have next S1 S0 bar I2 plus both are 1, so it will be S1, S0, I3. Okay. So, this is the soft form. Next step is to draw the logic diagram. So, logic diagram is as follows. You can see the soft form. It is we are using S1, S0, their bar and simple also. So, you need S1 and S2 and one NOT gate for S1 and one NOT gate for S0. So, they will convert to S1 bar and here it is S0 bar. Again we need the product of these. So, for the product we need N gates and then sum of all these. So, for the sum you take an OR gate. Okay. So, I0 here I0 S1 bar and S0. So, I0 S1 bar S0 it will give S1 bar S0 and I0. All the 4 terms you can get from this and from the OR gate you get the summation of all these fours. So, this total is the 4 cross 1 multiplexer. Using this formula, we can calculate 3 uh, sorry 8 cross 1, 16 cross 1 multiplexers also and you can draw this logic diagram. So, this completes the whole question that what is a multiplexer and what is 4 cross 1 multiplexer 
and draw its logic diagram. It is used in MSc and for BCA students also. So now we are going to do the questions. What kind of questions do you get in your net or gate exams for the multiplexers, especially 4 cross 1 multiplexers? Like in the question you have given a 4 cross 1 multiplexers and inputs are given. I0 value is given 1, I1 is 0, I2 is 0 and I3 is 1 and we have selection line B and A and you have to calculate the output. So how you are going to solve this question? So first of all from the truth table you will write the SOP expression. Okay, I am going to write the SOP expression Y equals to as we have studied earlier SOP expression for this will be B bar A bar I naught plus B bar A I1 plus B A bar I2 plus B A I3. Okay. This is the equation for the soft form. Now we have the values for the I0, I1, I2 and I3. Just put these values B bar A bar dot I1 is 1 plus B bar A I1 is 0 plus B A bar I2 is also given as 0 plus B A dot 1 as I3 is 1. So, this value will be 0, anything multiplied with 0 will be 0 obviously. So, we are left with B bar A bar plus B A. So, this is the equation for the XNOR gate B XNOR A. So, your output will be your y value will be B x naught A as it is the value for the x naught gate. So, in the previous example we have seen that we have input 1, 0, 0 and 1 and you if you remember that this is the output for the x naught gate. So, that is what we get x naught B x naught A. Similarly, if you will get the input like uh, 1, 0, uh, 0, 1, 1 and 0. So, that is the output for the XOR gate. So, there you will get B XOR A. Okay, let us try one more question and here we have the inputs 0, 0, 0 and 1. So, again using the steps first write the soft form. Okay. So, B bar A bar I naught plus B bar A I 1 plus B A bar I 2 plus B A I 3. Okay. Put the values I naught is 0, I 1 is 0 and I 2 is 0. So, these terms will be 0. You are left with only term B A dot 1. So, your output will be B A or you can write it as A B. So, it is A dot B. So, by this method you can calculate the value of the Y that is the output if number of inputs are given and using the selection line. So, you have to remember the truth table and the logic diagram also and this diagram also. Thank you for watching this video. Please like, comment and share and do not forget to subscribe our YouTube channel and visit our website gurukpo.com.